Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua Barakatom, to the brothers, Yahweh Shema, Atham Bashim Yahshua, Priest Officer 5000 Abun, holding down broadcast here this week for IHBK Rochester. Janita understands that World War III is biblical prophecy. Everything from Ukraine and, the Rus and Russia to Taiwan and China, North Korea and the Western world, etc. All these things are prophesied in the Bible. The world is descending into the Third World's War. What many of you don't know is that the Third World's War is the final war. It is the war which will end all wars. After this, men shall learn war no more. There will be a new set of rulers in charge. If you're listening, you can hear and see me. Press one. Press one if you can hear and see. I'm Priest Officer of 5000 Abun. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the scriptures on this topic. It's Revelation 9 and 12, and it reads, One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. There are two more world wars hereafter. The woe in the book of Revelation is speaking about the world wars. Okay, and according to the Bible, there were three world wars that will be prophesied to occur. All right, the third world war is the last modern war. It is the war which will end all wars. All right, if you're watching this, this video is sponsored by the like button. Make so smash the like button. This video is sponsored by the share button. So smash the share button. There will be three world wars. All right, three world wars. We've gone through two. This is the third. This is the final war. After this. There will be no be no more only fans, no more rap music, no more basketball, no more love and hip hop, no more nothing. Only the laws, statutes, and commandments, and the society that we establish. The men that have taught these classes for years, the men that have passed away in the truth, the men that have gone on and forged many many schools here in the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge will rule the planet Earth. They will come out of the ground, or and or many of them will be alive. And they will assume their position here on the planet Earth. And they will subdue the planet Earth. And the planet Earth will be under the laws, statutes, and commandments of the one you call God. Uh, many things that you think of as normal now are going to end. It's going to come to an end. And if you notice, right after the coronavirus, it's like damn near the week of res uh, ending restrictions for most of the world. Remember the UK last week, the United Kingdom came out and ended most COVID restrictions. The United, uh, excuse me, New York City even restricted many of the COVID-19 restrictions. Rochester did as well. Alaska, what have you, did as well. And here come the Ruskies sailing, running across the border to knock the pierogies, to knock the, the, the sallow out of those Ukrainians, man. And they're getting it on over there in Ukraine. God said that there will be three woes, three world wars. All right, let's skip on to Revelation 11. If you have any questions on this topic, type your questions in. Any questions on this topic, type your questions in. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. I should keep Rochester. All right, it's Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So the second woe is past. What was the second woe? The second woe is the second world war. All right, the second world war, which is fought between the Allied and the Axis powers. After the second world war, the earth divided was divided up into the format that you see today. The Middle East was created. The Middle East was made up after the third world's war. Okay, Saudi Arabia wasn't split up the way it was split up. Okay. Um, you know, Iran and Iraq, those nations weren't established in the, in the format that they were established, what have you. That was made after the Second World War. Okay, and after the Second World War, you had two world powers, the United States and Russia. After the Second World War, they ran off into an arms race, a nuclear arms race, which is uh, part of what you know of as the Cold War. There's also proxy wars that were fought between capitalists and communists. This is the end of the world, man. You can kiss this system of things goodbye. The third woe cometh quickly, and, and the third world's war cometh quickly. This was said thousands of years ago. Do you understand how close this third world's war is? That's how close this is, man. That's how close we are. We're very, very close. Let's get to verse 18. And the nations were angry. The nations are angry. They're not angry right now. Once again, um, so-called black people are doing nothing but praying for Ukraine. When is Ukraine prayed for Rochester? I want someone from Rochester to answer that question. When is Ukraine prayed for North Philly? I'm, I'm from Phil the Philadelphia area, and I know the Russian mafia up here in Philadelphia running dope in the northeast Philadelphia, man. The Russian mafia just outside, Russians just outside of uh, 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 North Philly doing all kinds of dirt in Philadelphia and in the surrounding areas, pushing dope, what have you, and working with the Russian government, man. Let them fight their war, man. Let blood come upon them from the most high. 
because they, like every other nation, don't get this twisted just because they, they far over there. Surely they didn't uh, they didn't whip us and make us pick cotton. So they're so they're the good ones. That's a damn lie. They're in all these East Coast cities, Philadelphia, Boston, running dope to the children of Israel, blacks, Latinos and natives right here in Northeast Philly. Russian mafia has got that on lock. Any one of these dumb Negro uh, gangsters and rappers, their connect is a cop or the Russian mob. That's where they're getting their dope from. All those pills, all those fentanyl pills, uh, Kensington, uh, Lehigh and Aramingo in Philadelphia. You can thank the Russian mafia for that. You can thank the Italians as well for Southwest. Let them go into war, man. Let them go into war because they're over here in the United States causing havoc and mayhem upon the children of Israel. All of them? No. But there's a portion of them, man. And the Lord brings crime, brings judgment upon an entire nation for their crimes. The nations are angry right now. And once again, we're going to be praying for Ukraine. You're making not praying for Ukraine, making posts saying pray for Ukraine. Uh, it's meanwhile, we're still going to be going about in this empire like nothing's going on. And you're going to walk right into a damn massacre. These white supremacists, they're not going to sign up for war. They're not going to Ukraine. I made a post about that on, uh, on Facebook and I made a tweet on Twitter. All you red hat MAGA, make America great again, get rid of the Mexicans, they're causing problems, they're a threat to national security, they're murderers, MS-13, ooh, the ghouly ghost, MS-13, all this other nonsense that you are spewing. Here's your chance. Russia is threatening America's supremacy. Are you going to sign up for war? No, you're not. But you will walk into a Walmart with an AK-47 and murder Mexicans, innocent Mexicans and Mexican civilians going about their damn day, going and shopping for deals at Walmart. You're not going to attack somebody that's going to shoot back at you. Okay. You're not going to do those things, but you will attack innocent so-called black people if they're not plotting that already right now. If you so-called black or Latino native, you better be very careful moving in this damn empire because these Edomites are furious and they, they don't have the balls to go to Ukraine, which they could. You have go check out that documentary. There's a documentary on Vice TV of ISIS members going, ISIS members going and, and signing up for war. All right. ISIS members going to sign up for war. Hold on one second. All right. There's a documentary on Vice TV about white people, so-called whites, Caucasians, Edomites, joining ISIS. You can go Google this right now. Many people, the people that have flown across the world to join ISIS. White supremacists could get in planes right now, fly to Moldova. You could fly to, I'm sure there's still flights to Belarus. You can fly to Europe, and then from Europe, you can drive over to Ukraine, and you can get it the hell on. They're not going to do that, man. You know why? Because they don't have the damn ball. And they're not they're not really about what they're talking about, but they are going to attack black women, black women, especially single black women. You, you got a, a daughter or something. You better. Um, you know, you better you better watch over her, man. You got a daughter that's living by herself and whatnot. You better watch over her, check in on her, make sure she's all right. These white supremacists, man, the cowards that they are, they're going to attack black women, do horrible things to them in, in these times. These are the days of revenge. All right. Same thing for other nations. You're going to watch all these other nations that had feuds, that had beats with one another, take it out on each other in, in and around this time. OK. And those of you that are going to go around this empire like nothing's going on, you're going to get caught up in a damn mess of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. Let's read it again. And the nations were angry and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead that they should be judged. And the nations are angry and the Lord's wrath has come. The Lord's wrath came down with COVID-19 in these different plagues. The Lord's wrath came and is here with the destruction that's going on here in Ukraine. Like those of you talking about pray for Ukraine, how do, how do you not know that the Lord wants war in Ukraine? How do you not know that? How do we not? How do we still in 2022 not understand that? If God is all love, then why was why was there a, a pandemic that just came and wiped out millions of damn grandmoms across the earth? If God is all love, why are there man pads being fired at Russian Russian uh, uh, Russian jets right now? If God is all love, clearly God is not about all love. God, the Lord is a man of war. Let me show you that as well in the Bible. The Lord is for uh, Ukraine and Russia going to war. He's an absolute support of it. All right.
You find that scripture, man of war. You have questions, type your questions in. Shalom, Shirash. Have your questions, type your questions in. World War III is prophesied in the Bible. If anyone has an, 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 oppos an opposing statement to make, then make it known in the comment section. All right, the Most High is a man of war. The Lord is with this war. This is Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. His name is Yahweh in the Hebrew, and he's a man of war. He's for this war. So you so-called blacks, Latinos, and natives that's praying for Ukraine, you're, you're against the Most High. You're praying to Satan. That's who you're praying to, okay? You're praying to Satan because Satan is the one that wants these powers, these white powers, these uh, uh, Edomite powers to last. Satan wants white supremacy to reign and the children of Israel to be on drugs, out of their minds, insane, okay, and, and criminals. That's what Satan wants and that's what the slave master wants. And any anybody praying for Ukraine, that's what you're praying for, man. You're praying for the continuation of this beast, of this wicked system. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is with war, okay? And he brought, sent this war upon Ukraine. Let me get that as well. Let me get, let me get another scripture on that. You're uh, on the most high, pushing war on this earth. All right, let's go to Revelation, the sixth chapter and the third verse. And when it opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. Revelation chapter six, verse four. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. This, these are the seals, man. These are the spirits that are going about the earth. These are the four horsemen. The Lord sent the four horsemen. Once again, your Christian pastor will not touch, will not touch the book of Revelation. Do you know why? He will not touch the book of Revelation because it is against everything that he claims the New Testament is about. This is the New Testament. That's another thing they never mentioned. The book of Revelation is in the New Testament, Christians. It's in the New Testament. And in, in the New Testament, John prophesied war, death, blood, and famine. And the salvation of the most hated people upon planet Earth that are scattered throughout the planet Earth. Once again, black people, we're so ignorant. We're playing for Ukraine, but we don't even know there's black, there's so-called black people in Ukraine right now. There are Israel, straight up Israelites walking around Ukraine right now. There's Puerto Ricans that are over in Ukraine, Puerto Rican men. There's one man from the Bronx. He he had balls with you so-called white supremacists you don't have. He flew from the Bronx to the Ukraine to help the Ukrainians uh, fight the uh, pro-Russian separatists in Donbass. A Puerto Rican. He's been there for years and has a wife and kids. To you, those kids are white. Not not so to the most high. If the Lord see fit, those, those Ukrainian-looking kids are getting on the damn chariots, man. They're Israelites in those lands. And we didn't, even, we didn't pray for them. We prayed for Ukraine. We prayed for the Edomites in charge. Those Edomites in charge, man, are the, are the prostitutes of America. Okay? I forget the president's name. It escapes me right now. Let me look up the president of Ukraine's name. Okay? This is what we don't understand. Once again, we don't study as a people. All right? Uh, I think it's the prime minister, rather. Minister of... Ukraine. Grab me one second. Finish me all. No, follow me. This is the guy I'm looking for. <laughs> President of Ukraine, sorry. President of Ukraine. Uh, his name is Vladimir Zelensky. Vladimir Zelensky and the current government of Ukraine is for America. Okay. They don't think they're better than Russia or worse than Russia. These are the same devils. They're just on two different sides of the world. It's two, two, two wings of the same bird. They're, they are both come out of the Russian Empire. Okay, the Russian name, excuse me, the, the they both come out of the Roman Empire. The Roman name for Russia is Sarmatia. Okay, Sarmatia, and the Roman name for the UK, which later became, uh, which later branched out and made America, was Londinium. Both of these lands. Both of these countries, both of these Edomites spring out of the Roman Empire as well as uh, Ukraine. All right. They're the same people. One is not better than the other. And the Lord is sending war on this earth. This is Revelation six and four. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The Lord wants peace removed from the earth. I'm going to say that again. The most high wants peace. Peace removed from this earth. The Lord doesn't want peace. 
He said when, when Christ, when the spirit of Christ will return, or Christ said himself, rather, in Matthew 10 and 34, that he come to set a man at variance with his own son, with his own father, a daughter against her mother. Brother against brother, sister against sister, sister, I'm loosely paraphrasing. God is going to split up your nuclear family because one believes in the law and the other does not. And he's also going to separate the earth. That's what he's doing right now. The Most High is pushing this war. Your prayers for Ukraine are, are in vain. Okay. Let's go to Matthew 24 and 4. If you have any questions, type your questions in. Matthew 24 and 4. In one second. No, 24 and 6. Sorry. So I like it. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Aren't you hearing about that? You're hearing of wars and then you're hearing rumors of wars. A few weeks ago, this whole Russia and Ukraine thing was just a rumor. It was supposed that they would invade. We're not sure if they'll invade. They might invade. Boom, they invaded. That was a rumor. Now it's a war. You will, you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Are you not hearing about wars and rumors of wars? What I want to know also is this. Where is the Medunetter? Where is the prophecies of the Nubian queens concerning this war? Where is the Egyptian hieroglyphs about Ukraine or Russia going to war with the Eastern Bloc countries and bringing them back into the Soviet Union. Where is that? I'm asking. Where's the mathematics on that? You so-called five percent. Where's the mathematics on Ukraine and Russia going to war? And on the Third World's War. No other book. No other book. No other book on the planet Earth prophesies three world wars than the Bible, but the Bible. No other book. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. This is a message for me. Don't be afraid, man. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Okay. Like what should trump your fear is the relief that you should get that this life of punching in nine to five, going here, doing this, doing that for pennies on the dollar. Being in public transportation, dealing with day to day life. I right, apologize about that. I had to take a, a quick, quick, quick pause. All right. I should be Rochester going into the third world's war. We'll read Matthew 24 and six. Uh, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. The end is not yet. Russia is going to go to war with Ukraine. Russia is building, is rebuilding the USSR, what was called the USSR, the United Soviet Socialist Republics or United Social Soviet Republics, one of the, one of those two names is correct. You can go look it up on your own. All right. These things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Horrible things must happen. Terrible things are going to happen. You're going to hear reports of genocides, of, of dirty bombs being used, biological warfare. That's coming out. They've got all these uh, illnesses, what have you, being used. Or excuse me, all these uh, biological weapons being developed. They're developing them to use them. They're developing these things to use them. Don't be troubled. Don't be afraid of any of these things. 
that I'm going to give you here is going to allow you to survive, to live. It's going to give you the tools necessary to come through terrible events. All right. These things have to happen, but the end is not yet. As Matthew chapter 24, verse six, let's go to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter to break down what's going on in Eastern Europe, the future of this war and the end of it. All right. Bear with me one second. If you have any questions also, let's have them. Type your questions in. If you have questions, type your questions in. Bear with me one second. All right. Ezekiel chapter 38, verse one. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magog, the chief, pre the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. OK, it's another scripture where the Lord is commanding the son of man. In this case, in this case, in this context, it is Ezekiel. The Lord is commanding the son of man to set his face against Gog. Who is God? Gog is the land of Russia today. All you need is a Genesis chapter 10 map and a brain and some of the breakdowns from the Israelite school of universal practical knowledge. And you will understand these facts. Son of man, set thy face against God. The land of Magog. Gog is Russia. The land of Magog is the land of Russia or the Eastern Bloc countries. Ukraine being one of them, Ukraine, Romania, Hungary, uh, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, those countries, those nations. That is the land of Magog. The Lord commanded Ezekiel, a prophet, to set his face against it. Against it. Most sides against Russia, man. He's against these nations as they rise up in war to try and rebound from the losses they had, they had sustained during the coronavirus. The chief prince of Meshach, Meshach is the ancient name of Moscow, all right? Meshach, then it was called Muscovy, and then it was called Moscow, and Tubal. Tubal is the ancient name of Turkey. Right now, Turkey is trying to block a Russian warship from coming into the Black Sea region, I believe, the Caspian Sea, one of those two seas. They're going to get into the mix as well and prophesy against him. Verse three and say, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. See, Gog, Russia is the chief prince of those lands of, of Moscow, Armenia, etc. Verse four, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws for years. It appeared as if Russia was going to become Democrat. It appeared as if Russia was going to fully adopt capitalism, get rid of communism. And never again even think about the idea of developing the Soviet republics. But they were turned back. Vladimir Putin was a young KGB agent who watched the humiliating, or as he put it, the humiliating fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. He watched it, and he has been working and working to bring it back. That is them being brought back into war. For years, Russia didn't want the smoke. Russia didn't want that issue. But Russia got it. Russia got it. Russia went back into the battle that they were trying to leave because of Vladimir Putin and then the Lord pushing him to bring Russia back into the battle. And I'll bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen. All right. Today, that will, that will be tanks, tank operators, heavy artillery, heavy uh, uh, armored vehicles, etc. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields. All of them handling swords. Today, the modern day sword is the AK-47, AR-15, uh, uh, Glock, M16, M4, what have you. Verse 5, this is important. Persia. Who else is going to join the fight? Persia. Who is Persia? Persia is literally the ancient name of Iran. Literally the ancient name of Iran. Only the Bible mentions this. Russia and Iran will join the mix in this war. Let's read on. Ethiopia. There was just a, a, a U.S. airstrike in Somalia. America is going to war in Ethiopia as well. Ethiopia would, would biblically be called the land of Cush. 
it was called Ethiopia by the Greeks because um, the people there are very dark. So they call the land Ethiopia, which means black. OK, I believe it's 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 that's a um, I'm paraphrasing the definition of the land. That's what the Greeks called it. Ethiopia is literally when you look up the biblical term it is the land of Cush. The land of Cush is Djibouti, uh, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Eritrea and um, Somalia, Nipsey Hussle and, the, and those pirates. OK, those are the those are the um, Ethiopians and Barack Obama. They're going to join the mix as well. And Libya, Libya was in the mix as well. They, they assassinated Gaddafi in a horrible way. You think the Libyans forgotten about that? No, L Libya is another chaos. Once again, they're only gonna tell you the wars about their people, okay? They're not gonna tell you about the battle US is having in Somalia. They're not gonna tell you about the battle. There's a full blown civil war in Libya. You've never even heard about it. You know why? Because they're not white. They're not Edomites. And so you're not going to hear about these battles. There's battles going on all across the earth, all over in Africa. And those jungles are killing and eating people. And the world goes on. OK. Let's read on. Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Right. These nations are getting together. But contrary to what the Christian church taught, they're not getting together to hug and kiss and to sew quilts. They're coming together to fight war. Verse six, Gomer and all his bands. Gomer will be France. France is going to turn. France is going to join this battle. And all his bands, all of his associates, mercenaries, what have you. The House of Tagarma. House of Tagarma would be like uh, Kurdistan or Armenia, that region. The Kardashians are going to join this war. OK. Of the North Quarters and all his bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself. Thou and all thy company that are associated with thee, and be thou a guard unto them. This, this is the most I talk to God, which is Russia. Protect them, man. Protect, protect the Kardashians. Protect Nipsey Hussle. All right. Protect those Somali pirates. Look at him. Look at me. I am the captain now. Protect them, man. Protect Haile Selassie's people. Russia, you better protect those folks. You go into war, you bringing all of them down into war. That's the most I saying. All right. They're going to come like a storm. They're going to invade. When you hear about the Russians invading, or when you hear about armies invading Yemen and uh, Saudi Arabia, you pack your bags because we're out of here. And when they come into the land of Israel, deep into that Middle East, closer to the Mediterranean, it's over. The Lord literally said that. That's going to be the stopping point. That's going to be the pause point of World War III and the climax. The climax of World War III is this, that this planet is going to be invaded from outer space. You heard me say this planet is going to be invaded from outer space. And the, these invaders are not coming to make peace. They're not coming to have a spelling bee like um, some of these TV shows and these movies would have you believe. They're not coming to have a spelling bee. They're not coming to solve mathematical equations. They're not coming to give their technology. They're coming to kill and to light on fire. They're not They're They're unkillable. Can't kill them. White man with his, uh, he's trying to deal with, what is that, dark matter and antimatter. All right, he's trying to deal with dark matter, antimatter, what have you, to uh, attempt to kill the angels. You can't do this, man. And these angels are black men, all right? This is Isaiah 66 and 15. This is what's going to happen in the midst of the Third World's War is very soon, coming to a city near you, sponsored by the Most High. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind, the Lord's going to come in the fire and his chariots like a whirlwind. OK, his chariots will be shaped like a disc, a roll within a roll, a so-called UFO. This world's going to be invaded by UFOs, which the world calls unidentified flying objects. The Navy, however, the Air Force, however, CIA, however, has just acknowledged their existence. For many, many years, these craft were thought of as fake, not real, and the people that, that hunted for them or looked for them were conspiracy theorists and crazy. When it just came out a few years ago that they're absolutely real, an American Airlines pilot just, just, just saw one, I believe. And they were told not to tell the details of it. If you look at the picture of the moon landing, there's a damn chariot, there's a UFO watching those fools get on the moon. This is one stall, small step for man. This is one giant leap for mankind. There's a chariot. Sitting right there, they probably eating lunch, watching those fools stick a, a, a flag into the damn moon. You go look at the, the moon landing. It's, it's either a picture of the moon landing or a picture of the moon 
There's a chariot off on the left. Also, many of these medieval paintings, excuse me, these Renaissance paintings, like of um, were the works, some of the works of was Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo, one of the two, there's UFOs off in the distance. Why? Because they know what's coming. They know what's coming. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. The Lord's going to plead with all flesh with fire and sword. And the Lord, sh and the, excuse me, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Many people are going to die. Many people are about to die. A lot of people. Most, in fact, a large portion of the earth's population is about to be death on this earth that will never, ever, ever be seen again. The level of death that is coming to this earth, you're, you won't be able to quantify it. The amount of death that's about to happen will never, ever, ever, ever be had in existence. You hear me? Hundreds of thousands, millions of years later, when there are people, <laughs> whatever future form people are in, they're going to read about this time and they're going to, their jaws are going to drop to the floor as they read this on a damn hologram about the amount of death that's going on. And you know what else, what else they'll be shocked by? They'll be shocked by all the whoring, the OnlyFans, and all the murder that happened. In the future, none of this BS is going to be going on. In the future, the, this BS, this stuff that, uh, what is that, J, who is that, Jada Pinkett Smith talking about? This stuff that your rapper's talking about, slide on him, slide on her, all this other BS, treat a black woman like garbage. The people in the future are going to look at this like, this is insane. It's a backward and primitive people. Historians are going to talk about this time as the time of retardation. Okay. They call it the Renaissance. In the future, it's going to be called the, the, the time of the special needs, special ed. Because these fools, not to you know, speak down on anyone that goes through that, I'm speaking about them, the slave master in that, in that manner, speaking down to him. Because he's an idiot. He's a fool running this damn earth. Printed out a bunch of money and is trying to tell people that he doesn't know why inflation's happening. Give me a break. All right. Let's go back to Ezekiel. I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to Ezekiel 38 and 18. I keep going here. Ezekiel 38 and 18. And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come against the land of Israel. So when Russia comes against the land of Israel, notice it doesn't say the people of Israel. Because the people of Israel, by and large, are not in Israel. There's a bastard dwelling in Israel. All right? And it shall come to pass at the same time when God shall come up against, shall come against the land of Israel, saith the Lord God, that my fury shall come up in my face. The Most High's fury is going to come up in his face when they invade in Israel. Because these nations are raging and they're trying to imagine something vain. America's trying to conquer the world and bring all governments under their umbrella. Russia's trying to conquer the world and, and bring all governments under their umbrella. And the Lord is pissed off at it, man. He's tired of it. He's tired of, of the way you've been running this earth. He's tired of all this, these injustices happened to his people. He's tired of all this filth, all this BS being promoted as, as, as uh, you know, as, as righteous and as great. Smoke and weed. You would think smoke and weed is, is the, is a fountain of youth. You think we? You would think with all this weed smoking and all this promotion, you would think weed does anything. Weed doesn't do anything but make you sleepy. If I want to be sleepy, you know what I'll do? I'll do three hundred goddamn burpees and three hundred sit-ups. That then I'll be sleepy. I'll be tired. The hell do I need weed for? It's a joke. And the Lord thinks of it as a joke, and He's bringing thermonuclear war to vaporize weed heads. That's what He's bringing. The time is now to change. All right. Second Ezra chapter 13. All right. And verse 29, the middle of the third world's war. Christ is returning on this earth. For those of you that don't know, Christ is a black man. He's not a Hell's Angels member. OK, there is no beach boy. that looks like he's one of the posse of Charles Manson returning to give everyone hugs and kisses and free massages. That's not what's coming on this earth. What's coming on this earth is death and destruction brought to you by Jesus Christ. Uh, a so-called black man. Second Ezra 13 and 29. Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them 
that are upon the earth. The days come. The days have come. The Most High is being to deliver those that are on the earth. He's coming to deliver us, man. He's coming to deliver the children of Israel, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Verse 30. And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. He came to an astonishment to those that he came as an astonishment to those that dwell on the earth. He came as an astonishment with COVID-19. He came as an astonishment with the invasion of Ukraine. He came as an astonishment with the rising inflation or inflation rates. Many people don't know what's going on. Many people believe that there's an attempt to enslave mankind by what the people call elites, which is a political term in and of itself. Many people believe that this is some push to enslave mankind. That's, that's not totally true. This is the Lord coming as an astonishment to them to dwell on the earth. So people don't know what's going on. Is it enslavement of man? Is it, you know, is it a lab made uh, bioweapon? Oh, is Russia and Ukraine, is this an act? Is this, is this stage? Is everything to, everything to, to a, a, a full stage? Because nobody believes that America can really be challenged on any level. Second Ezra 13 and 31, and one shall undertake to fight against another. That's what's going on right now. U.S. is fighting uh, Somalia. You don't even hear about there's a civil war in Libya. There's a civil war in, in Syria. 400,000 people died. I mean, it's close to 500,000 people died in Syria. You don't even hear about that. Israel is attacking Syria. One people shall undertake to fight another. And they're doing that right now. One city against another. Right. That'll happen again in, in the next election season. One place against another one place. OK. NATO versus Russia. One people against another, one people against another, Ukrainians versus Russians. OK. Western Edomites versus Eastern Edomites. France versus, you know, Britain, EU versus Britain, Brexit. Western Canada versus Eastern Canada with Wexit, which is the real reason that those fools went in trucks to Ottawa. And one realm against another. See that one realm against another. It's going to be NATO versus the Soviets man, in about a second. The UN versus the Soviets. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass and the signs shall happen, which I shewed thee before. And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man ascending. He's going to come up. Meaning, meaning, meaning this. He is going to come out of the world. He's going to come out of uh, a group. People that have spoken about it. That's why he's ascending. That's why he's going up. All right. Well, let me explain more on it to give you more of a you know picture of what's going on here. So he's going up. All right. Coming from the ground, going up. He's going to ascend upon something. Verse 33, and when all the people, excuse me, and when, and when all the people hear his voice, every man shall in their own land leave the battle they have one against another. So when they hear, when they see Christ coming up. Rising up, when they see when they see him, they hear his voice, they see him coming. They're going to leave the battle. The U.S. is going to stop airstriking Somalia. Hamas is going to stop throwing those beer cans over in Israel. Those those tin can flea market rockets. They're going to stop throwing those across the uh, across the Gaza Strip over at Israel. Russia is going to stop fighting Ukraine. Iran is going to stop fighting America. ISIS is going to stop fighting everybody. Verse 34, and an innumerable multitude, multitude shall be gathered together, as thou sawest them willing to come and to overcome him by fighting. They're all going to leave the battle in the midst of the Third World's War. Christ is going to return. And they're all going to leave the battle they have with each other to unify and fight against Christ. Yabashai. That is what is going to happen. All right. But he shall stand upon the top of Mount of the Mount Zion. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying when I said he's come out of a group of people. Meaning this, he's going to be, he's going to be on top of the Mount Zion. What is the Mount Zion? The Society of Israel, Israelites. Okay, so-called Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Christ is going to be established upon that. When he comes back, when he returns, that's what he. That's what. That's what he's going to be set on. He's not coming to save America. That's why the whole term God bless America is ridiculous. 
He's not coming to bless America. He's not coming to bless Ukraine, Ukraine's prayers, Americans' prayers, and any foolish Negro, Latino, First Nation, Native American praying for them. Your prayers are going on deaf ears. Christ is not resting upon Ukraine or Russia or America or ISIS or Iran. Christ is resting upon Mount Zion, Israel, chiefly the 144,000, 144,000 men who are chosen to rule the planet Earth. And they are going to rule soon. Okay. Verse 36, and Zion shall come and shall be shewed to all men, being prepared and builded, like as thou sawest the hill graven without hands. Okay. This mountain he's on, so I said it's a society, because it's, it's a mountain, it's a hill, made without hands. Hills represent countries or nations in the Bible, by and large. They still do to this day in events such as the G7 summit and the G20 summit. Summit, right? It's a summit because these mountains are gathering together. These Large, powerful empires, countries, what have you, are gathering together. Christ has his powerful empire. It is being built brick, brick by brick. It is being built with every brother and sister that receives a flyer. All the trips that are made, all the camps that are had, that is Christ, Yahweh Shai, building his empire. His empire is going to be built by foolish means at first. That's why Paul said, through the foolishness of preaching. Okay? Shall I save many? I'm loosely paraphrasing. It's going to be foolish at first. It's going to look dumb. You're going to walk by the camp. Ha, ha, hoo, hoo. Why can't they say that? What does that mean? I can do what I want. Whatever. Who cares? It's going to be silly at first. And then in a, in a minute, it's going to be insane. The scriptures say this about the men that will be used, the Israelite men that will be used by the Most High to take out these nations. There will never be a man like them again. It says that they're going to run like horses. And when they jump, it's going to sound like chariots. Who knows what they're going to look like? And it says that a sword, so though they shall fall on the sword, though they shall be struck with the sword, none of them shall fall. They're going to be in unkillable. In about a second, you're about to see, the, in about a second, the world's about to become totally sci-fi. It damn near, it, it started in 2020. You don't know whether this thing was made in the lab by Frankenstein, COVID-19, or at least in the earth, or what. The world's about to get very, very science fictional, and there will be men on this earth running through the earth with unimaginable, unfathom, un, with unfathomable abilities. They will run through the earth and are going and, and will knock the teeth out of every army on this planet Earth. ISIS too. Everybody's getting bullied, put in chains and put in their place. That's what's going to happen. All right. Let's read on. And this my son shall rebuke the wicked inventions of those nations, which for their wicked life are fallen into the tempest. All right, that's what's going on. Russia and Ukraine are fighting because the Russians and Ukrainians, just like all the nations, have had a hand in the destruction of the children of Israel. The Lord had prophesied that they would fight against each other and they would be destroyed. Okay, the Russians and the Ukrainians are not off the hook here. We don't read, we don't understand history, but they've taken, they've had a heavy hand in the drug trade over here. All right. Let's go back to Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 39. Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto God a place there of graves in Israel. They're going to have graves. And, and if, if you want to invest in something, because I know there's a lot of people trying to invest in crypto and stocks and buy some Bitcoin. I take a second job. You want to make a lot of money, get a shovel, learn how to dig graves. OK, because there's about to be so much work putting people in the ground, putting idiots and potheads and adulterers in the ground and drug addicts in the ground. You're going to be, you know, you'll be rich. You so-called West Indians, you're going to be running a grave digging corporation, bulldozers and all. You're going to be working three, five jobs, working overtime, burying bodies. All right. That I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel, the valley of the passengers on the east of the sea, and it shall stop the noses of the passengers. Meaning this it's, it's going to be so they're going to be so dead that it's going to stink. Those of you that never smelled a dead body, you, you know, you don't know, but you, you'll find out it's, it's horrible. It's putrid. It is. Imagine the worst smell you smell and imagine it times 50. It is so thick and 
intense that it will literally make you throw up. It's going to stop your nose. You know, a few of you have smelled something to the point that it's made you literally cover your nose like a damn cartoon. But that will. The dead bodies of Russia, of the Russian soldiers, Soviet soldiers, what have you. And there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude. And they shall call it the Valley of Hamon Gog. You, you an investor, invest in Hamon Gog Burial Company. I might be the first to it. I'll meet you there and we'll compete. Not compete, but there'll be enough for all of us. Verse 12, and seven months shall the house of Israel be burying them. So you're going to be burying them. Okay. In about a second, you have a husband eating the truth. In about a second, you, your husband is going to be real busy burying bodies. It says, scripture says this, the house of Israel shall be burying them. Israelites are going to bury or have Magog bury. Okay. You might be dipped off somewhere in a, in a government, in a, in a uh, Israelite summit yourself, in a, in a government summit or a government meeting rather than yourself. Somebody else will bury those bodies, but there's going to be nothing but burying bodies literally for seven months. So you idiot Christians, you think you're just going to float in with wings and, and sit around and do nothing and be lazy. That's a damn joke. The scriptures say this, the kingdom of heaven uh, cometh not by observation. You're going to have to work. It's going to be work. You're going to have to build buildings just like this, the white man built New York City, built Los Angeles and Philadelphia. So you're going to have to build, build the kingdom of heaven the same way. But it will be an empire that you will leave to your children to time in, for time immemorial. Verse 13, yea, all the people of the land shall bury them. So not only Israelites, Arabs, East Indians, Chinese, Japanese are going to be burying Russian soldiers for seven months. And it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glad that I shall be glorified. Bear with me one second. And it shall be to them a renown the day that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord God. He's going to be glorified. Man. The Most High is going to be glorified. The Most High is going to be the talk of the town, not rappers and artists and the red table and the this, that, thought and that, thought and the OnlyFans girl, and the stripper and the athlete and the cat getting paid to hip hop, beat bop. Skip hip hop so you don't stop and rock to the bang, bang, boogie. None of that nonsense. Rappers, what have you. They're not going to be listened to. The most high will be listened to, man. He'll be popular. God will be trending in that day. And also the name of the city shall be Hamonah. Thus shall they cleanse the land. The Lord's going to cleanse the land. Okay. With their bodies. That's what the Lord said. So what should Israelites be doing? I told you that praying for Russia is futile. It's going on deaf ears. What should we be doing there? Romans 13 and 11. And, know, and that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Your salvation, you being brought out of this evil world, projects and evil, evil life that you've had to live. You're going to be brought out of that, man. Woman. Very, very soon. You know the time. You know what's going on. A ton of you are making a million different memes. I'll do this. I'll slap Ukraine this. I'll do this to Ukraine. Send me on Ukraine and Russia. I'll, I'll go handle it. Let me help you out with something. Before you go to war with anybody, how about you go to war with yourself? How about you have that much fury with the problems you have in your life? You would get somewhere. I see a ton of cute posts and, and tweets from idiots. Not idiots, all of them. But people saying yes put me on you can put us put this put this uh place this city town put our this family put the mccoys whatever put the washington's on ukraine we'll handle them no you won't you can't even you can't even stop smoking weed how are you how are you going to defeat the ukrainian army the ukrainian army would knock your teeth out man the russian army would knock your teeth out how are you going to fight how are you going to how are we going to fight the ukrainian army we can't fight pork you can't fight meat you're going to fight a special forces soldier. That fool sat in freezing water and was tormented for six months. When I mean tormented. I don't mean he went without food. Or he went out with something. For, he went out to run some errands for a few hours and then having to eat. Or he was uh, he had to do this task for, for a while. I mean, <laughs> okay, they, in the special Navy, Navy SEALs, let me help you out. You don't understand. Okay, the Navy SEALs are put through something called Hell Week, where they are literally kept up for 110, 120 hours, meaning this. For five days, they get no sleep. And when, I, <laughs> when I mean no sleep, I mean they're literally up 24 hours doing push-ups and not 24 hours just sitting somewhere, not 24 hours driving, 24 hours doing push-ups, sit-ups, getting into freezing cold water, getting doused with cold water, 
rolling around in the mud. Do you know, you understand the amount of chafing that I must produce? Carrying boats. And they do it just to see how tough you are, just to make you quit. You're going to go and fight them? No, you're not. Fight weed first. Fight weed at least. Fight pork. Fight crab, shrimp, and lobster. Fight the other small issues you have going on in your life. Go to war with yourself. That's what we need to do. If memes are okay. It's great. It's not a sense. It's not unlawful. It's cute, but give it a break. And if you actually mean, mean that, let's go, go to war with yourself with the same theory that you think you'd be able to uh, wage against Russia or Ukraine. Now it is high time that we awake out of sleep. Come out of sleep. Fight your own sleep. You, a sister, fight the urge to, to do what women in the world do. Fight that urge, man. Come against it. Come against yourself. That's what we need to do. You know what time it is. You're making the memes in the posts. You're saying you fight Ukraine. Fight yourself then. Fight yourself 10 times harder than you fight you. Then you think you fight them. Okay? Because your salvation, this, this life is over sooner than you expected. Sooner than you expected. Let's go to Matthew uh, 24 and 42. All right. Matthew 24 and 42. Watch, therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doth come. Watch. You better watch out. You better be on your P's and Q's. Can't slip up. Oops, I'll do this and say, oops. Do that. Oops, I'm only human. Oops, I'm upset at I'm upset at my husband. Oops, I'm upset at my wife. Let me go do this. Better be careful, brothers and sisters. Watch, because you don't know what what hour Christ is returning. He's going to return when you don't think he's going to return. And, and watch in World War III in the rubble, there will still be OnlyFans. There will still be <laughs> prostitution. That's what amazes me too. I, I, in the beginning of the coronavirus, I had faith on humanity in this. I had faith in humanity in this. I thought that through the illness, through the plague, people would, would stop whoring. Like that would, that would slow down. The prostitution, the, the OnlyFans, the sending women a, a bunch of money, the buying prostitutes. I thought that would slow down. They, they haven't set, they haven't, <laughs> they haven't whores with COVID-19 come to the place and have sex with them. They had COVID-19 traveling, doing the same evil that doing the same evil we've done before. Dope dealers, I'm in Philly, Philly or wasn't Philly rather, uh, dope dealers in Northeast Philly during COVID-19, they were dropping the heroin, dropping the dog food on the ground so the junkies could come pick it up. No contactless dog food delivery. <laughs> okay. Dog food in the sidewalk, heroin. Okay. Dog food is slang for heroin. For those of you that don't know. Contact was dog food delivery. Evil didn't stop. And this is what the scriptures say. Let the wicked be wicked still. Don't try and help anybody. Those of you that know that the world is ending, you want to tell, help out your family, tell them they need to stop doing this and come hard. You know, you got to stop. This is almost over. Don't stop anybody from doing anything. Listen, this is America. This is, we're in, this is Rochester. This is a Rochester class. You're in Rochester. Don't want to shoot people if you want. I'm not saying to do it, but if that, if, 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 um, that's your prerogative, that's on you. I'm not justifying it, but I'm not going to tackle you. I'm not going to lock you up somewhere. I'm not going to beat you over the head with the truth. I don't recruit either. I don't recruit. I teach the truth, bring out what is, you know, to be brought out in the class. And that's it. I'm, we're not recruiting anybody either. We don't need any, any more brothers, any more sisters, anybody. All right. And you shouldn't either. Don't, don't make people, don't, don't, Cow, cow down to people in the world and make them have respect for what you do, forget them. They'll be meeting the Russians very soon. I don't do tarot cards. We're against witchcraft, but I see the AK-47 in their future. Salt rifles, rockets, and, and artillery fire, 50 caliber rounds. You get hit with one, you, your body literally explodes. That's what's in their future, man. Let them go. You just watch. You read. You know the signs. And, and always walk and make sure that you're doing the right thing. It's verse 20, 43. But know this, that the good man of the house, excuse me, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what out and what watch the thief would come, the, the watch being the hour time span, rather, he would have watched 
and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So a watchman, a good watchman that, that looks out and knows when the thief's coming, he'll watch over his house at that hour so that his house doesn't get broken into. Verse 24, therefore be ye also ready. For in such an hour as ye think not, the son of man cometh. When you don't think he's coming, that's when he's coming. <laughs> so when you, when you don't think he's coming, he's coming. Christ does not want to come when the masses of people are awake. He does not, which is why I was just sitting and watching with the protest and the Black Lives Matter this, and the fists up, fist up that, the black power this, the we need to come together, the support black business for a year after the George Floyd, support black business, the HBCU. And people, he's not coming when people are awake. He's coming when they're asleep because he wants to kill them because they're disgusting. He's disgusted sitting on the throne, watching you go to Freak Nick in Atlanta, taking every rod not nailed down. He's disgusted by it. He's disgusted by the murder for nothing, for 25 cents, for a nickel ball of crack. There is no money in the streets either. Anybody you saw with money, they didn't have money. That's not money. That's poverty. If he had money. Why is he sitting next to you with, a, with what, a wad of cash? Oh, he's, what, $4,000. That's rent money in New York City. That's rent money in, in pretty soon in many areas of Philadelphia. Fool's got a month's rent and cash because you've never seen money. You're, oh, my goodness, he's got money. He's got a car. The car, in many cases, is stolen. That's that that um that a young Dolph case showed that. Young Dolph was murdered. These fools are rappers in Memphis. They've got a, a, a Mercedes. They, they're showing wads of cash, which, again, is not a lot of money. Uh, they're showing new designer clothes. They're showing these sneakers and all this other stuff. They got arrested for murder. They did not have money for a lawyer. The money that you saw that you thought was a lot of money is not money. When they get locked up, they have no lawyer. They're going to do life in prison. That's why they all. That's why they go to jail all the time. Like real, like again, we need to study real criminals. Real criminals have money. Okay, crime does pay. Italian mafia are real criminals. Are they in jail? No. They're running the construction industry in Philadelphia and in New York. They didn't. They didn't have to go to jail. Because they had money. The fools in Wall Street that are playing with the stock markets. Do they go to jail? Did um, What was that one group? H HSBC is literally processing the cartel's money and they're processing terrorist organizations' money. Terrorist groups are coming in. Yes, I'm Hafiz Haziz from ISIS. I am here to donate money to the ISIS fund. They said, okay, we'll, we'll clean this money up for you. No problem. None of them went to jail because they actually have money. If you have money, you don't have to go to jail. Rich people don't go to jail. They don't. Harvey Weinstein, which is why the, um, not the Harvey Weinstein, the Jeffrey Epstein case was so rare. Okay. That was just, I just had to go off on a sidebar. Let's wake up, folks. Let's get our minds out of the damn gutter. Let's stop being animals and slaves, thinking that a wad, of, a wad of cash you can hold in your hand is not money. It's not lawyer money. That is not if you get locked up for selling a, whatever small amount of drugs you're selling. It's not enough for even a lawyer. The lawyer will clean you out. Okay, let's watch. Let's let's be let's be grown ups here. Okay, because when 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 he comes, you're not even gonna know. He's gonna come when people are asleep, when people are out trying to make the little tiny wad of cash. It was a hundred fifty thousand dollars is not money either. A little wad of cash. We're out making a little wad of cash, selling a little itty bitty bit of drugs. Christ is going to come. He's going to, he's going to separate their head from their body. In the midst of plotting and scheming to kill someone, Christ is going to appear and is going to end all of it. Watch, pray, repent, change your damn life. Many of the lives that we've lived in, many of the lives that we've lived in are living here are worthless, man. We need to push for a higher calm. We need to push for something bigger than ourselves. And the truth is bigger than ourselves. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments is bigger than our carnality. It's bigger than the lives that we lead in the world. First, oh, excuse me. This uh, tablet has spell check as well. It's a pain getting through these scriptures. It's the last thing I do. Bear with me one second. Questions, type your questions in. This class is sponsored by the like button. Smash that like button. This class is sponsored by the share button. Share this video. All right, go to First Thessalonians five. First Thessalonians five. 
and mm, two. I've got a few more scriptures after this. First Thessalonians 5 and 2, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Once again, the most high comes as a thief in the night. You're going to be on OnlyFans about to turn the camera on and 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 press your own buttons so uh, losers on a screen can, can pleasure themselves to you. Men, they can't go out and talk to a woman, get her number, take her to lunch and dinner and, and marry her, have sex with her if, if she's the right one for him. Men that can't do that are going to be on your OnlyFans and that's going to get clipped off by Yahweh Shai, the one the world calls Christ, as a thief in the night. For when, the, for when they shall say peace and safety, then destruction comes. So when you hear people in these nations say peace and safety, we've, we've achieved peace in the Middle East, peace in Europe. I think they said they've had they achieved peace in the Middle East before 9-11, um, before, uh, which is the real start of the Third World's War. Okay. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. They're not getting out of this one. You can't buy your way out of this. You can't go and hide in some bunker, etc. Verse five, ye are all the children of light. And the children of the day, we are not of the night nor of darkness. You're children of the light, man. you brothers and sisters to an end. You know what's going on. You know what to do. You can see clearly what is light. Light is the law. You have the law. You have the spirit of the law as well as the letter. But you have the spirit of the law to understand how not to sin. You are the children of light. We're not of, of the night or of darkness. We don't smoke crack in here. We don't allow crackheads. We don't allow uh, uh, cats that are still in gangs or what have you to join this organization. You have to renounce your former life and come in brand new. And go through the pain of change. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. Don't go to sleep, man. Don't go back to the world. You sisters, don't go back to making OnlyFans. Don't waltz back into that strip club. So, oh, well, F this. Nothing's going to change. They don't know what they're talking about. Don't waltz back into the damn strip club. Don't go to sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. Okay, Watch and be sober. Don't be an alcoholic. You can't smoke weed or use drugs, any of that. Don't pop pills and then end up dead from an overdose in a damn hotel room. Be sober and watch, okay? For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that are drunken are drunk in the night. In the night, They're drunk on, on different uh, philosophies, asleep in different philosophies. Verse eight, but let us who are of the day be sober. Let's be sober, man. Be serious, okay? That's also what sober means, serious. And clean, get off of drugs. Stop doing those lines. OK. Stop doing those lines and walk down another path. Go down another path, another line. Path of the most high. Be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. What is faith? Faith is believing something. And because you believe this thing, you do it. Faith without works is dead. Faith, the belief of things not seen, which shall come those which shall come. And love, what is love? Keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments. Keep the commandments to you know by yourself in regards to yourself. Keep the commandments to your woman as well. To make a woman a, a single mother in this day and age, if she has not poured on you, she has not cheated on you, to make her a single mother in this day and age, it's, it's downright evil, man. Like I said before, the white supremacists are mobilizing and they are not going to attack you know, they're not even going to they're not even going to come against Negro gangs by and large. They're going to attack black women, the elderly. They're going to attack children. So to make a woman a single mother in this day and age, man, is damn near evil. Unless she cheats on you, it's the only reason you can leave her. Contrary to popular belief. You married a crackhead, you, you better walk her ass to the methadone clinic. OK, you better walk her to the methadone clinic. Keep those fools from breaking bad off off her, you know, uh, out of her phone and all that. You got to counsel her through that. But let's get serious about life, man. Sex is serious. Let's get serious about our bodies, about our minds, about our health. And about our place in this world. And for a helmet, the hope of salvation on your head, in your mind, should be the hope of salvation. You're going to be saved. You're going to be brought out of this world and you're going to be given rulership of the planet Earth. Let's go to Ephesians 5. Got two more scriptures. And I'm wrapping it up. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm, Rome. Rome is not Rome. Ephesians 5 and 14, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light. OK, so in many cases in the Bible, when it's talking about death or the dead, it's not literal. OK. In this context, sleep and death is the same thing. It's synonymous, meaning this. Come out of the world. Leave this coma that you're in. The coma of believing that you can murder an unborn child, the coma of believing that your body doesn't matter. It's your body, your choice, but you treat your body as a semen receptacle, a seed receptacle for every man, woman, and child on the block. A seed and box receptacle. Come out of that. Awake from that. Because right now you're asleep. You're dead. You're as good as dead. You're a dead man or woman walking. And Christ will give you light. Christ will give you an understanding of the law. And through that, you will live. Right? From the last scripture, I'm going to go to Baruch. Baruch 4. And these are words. This last scripture is are, are words of encouragement to so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives to not give up. Once again, I, I really do fear. I really do worry for brothers and sisters in the world. I, I really don't understand how you're getting through this. If I was in the world during COVID-19, I, I would I would lose my mind with what's going on. And I don't think Jake in the world is doing very well. These are words of encouragement, words of comfort to you. Baruch chapter four, verse four. O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. You can learn how to make the creator of all things happy. You've yearned for years to be accepted by your mother, by your father. When in some cases they didn't accept you. In some cases they put you in horrible situations or did horrible things to you. You've been yearning to be accepted by your friends, your girlfriends, the women around you, the men around you in your school. You've been yearning to be the cool kid, the cool man. You've been yearning to be that gangster, the hood nigga. You've been yearning to be all of these things that the world has taught you to be which is really just an animal. It's not even a, a person, a human being. In, in most cases, if not all. You, you can learn how to please the Most High. If you please the Most High, what, what rocket can come against you? What army can come against you? The Lord is the Lord of, of war. He's a man of war, rather. Verse five. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Be of good cheer. Be happy, man. Sit back, have a drink, have some popcorn, and watch this whole show. But stay the hell out of it. Do not cons conscript for the military. Okay? Do not sign your children up for the military. Your daughter's up for the military. It's not our fight. Verse 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. You were not brought here to be turned out. We're not brought here to become crips and bloods and gangsters. We were brought here because we disobeyed the Most High. Let's continue to read. But because you moved God to wrath and you were delivered unto the enemies. We, we're in the hands of enemies. These people are our enemies. And until we understand, until we understand that, we're going, to, we're going to be caught up in massacres. It's going to happen here in the near future. These people are our enemies. That's just a fact nationally. Now, you have good relationships with individuals. Sure. Can you build business relationships, partnerships with them? I'm not saying you can't. Sure. Are they all mean? Hey, no. But nationally, they are your enemies. It's just, it's just a fact. That's true. That can't be denied. Verse 22. For my hope is in the everlasting that he will save you. Uh, my hope. Here's my hope. My hope is that no black, Latino, Native American is put to death in the third world's war. That's my hope. And I hope that the Most High had mercy on those that are on, on what is called the two thirds of Israel, which is prophesied to die. I hope that the Most High will save you. And joy is come unto me from the Holy One. I'm joy. I'm happy. I'm glad, man. I got a smile on my face. My teeth are white. I'm shining. Because I want all blacks, Latinos, and native men and women and children to be brought out of this Destruction and into everlasting life. Everlasting life being rulership of the kingdom of heaven, which will be here on earth. Because of the mercy which shall soon come upon you 
from the everlasting our Savior. I see what's going on in Northfield. I hear about the lives you live, the lives many women, you know, at work in prostitution and, and are claiming to be, you know, independent whores or whatever. I've read about your lives. I read about the lives of so-called gangsters, killers that really were just were touched the wrong way, were uh, abused, and their mother, their father told them, shut your mouth about that, were touched by a pastor. And it makes me absolute, it makes me glad beyond belief that though you've gone through those things, though those things have happened to you, you will be given mercy that no other nation will ever give, be, be given. There are Ukrainians right now dying horrible deaths, being blown apart. There was one cat that blew himself up. He had to blow the bridge up to stop the Russians from coming through, blew himself up. There was 13 Ukrainians that were blown to bits by a Russian warship. They're dying horrible deaths right now, man. They're losing their kids. A boy, a little boy was killed in an apartment the other day. You will be given mercy. It makes me absolutely glad. For I send you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now, the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, the neighbors, the Arabs, Chinese, Japanese, they've seen our captivity. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our God. Pretty soon, every nation on this earth is going to understand why all these things are happening on the earth. These things are happening for the salvation of Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. So shall they see shortly your salvation from our God. We shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. Suffer patiently, man. Go through it. Tolerate it. Get through it. Get through the lives you know, get through life in the projects, in the hood, in the favela, in the barrio, in Dominican Republic, in Haiti. Contact us as well for counsel for whatever financial needs you may have. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. Right. Your knee is going to be on their neck. They had their knee on George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 42 seconds. Your knee is going to be on their neck, man. That's equality. That's salvation. That is justice. That's not murder. That's not bloodthirst. That's not racism. That is justice. There have been crimes committed nationally that must be answered. My delicate ones have gone through rough ways. Right. The Lord's delicate ones. Black, Hispanic, and Native American women are supposed to be delicate. They're not supposed to be run, had by, by everybody. You're rough. You've been in all manner of different, you know, deviant events. That's not who you were built to be. You are a delicate one. You've gone through rough ways. That's what the scriptures say. Let's read on. And we're taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. You were taken away. You were ripped apart, torn away as a flock taken from the enemies. You brothers as well, young brothers, delicate, delicate in the sense that you are of young age in prison for life, locked up. caught up. You've gone through rough ways. Let's read on. Be of good comfort, oh my children. Be of good, good comfort, man. Relax. Relax. You were given a, a rest from slavery, a temporary rest during COVID-19. You're going to be given more rest as well. There's going to be more shutdowns this time, likely due to war or the economic collapse that's coming. And cry unto God. Cry unto the Most High. Go before the Most High with your hands spread out towards the east and pray to him. Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And lay upon him all your problems, worries, shortcomings, whatever. And say in the end, Bahasham Yahushai Thwada Aman. Thank you. So be it. For you shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. The Most High remembers you. For as it was in your mind, for as it was your mind to go astray from God, as you thought to go astray, as you thought to do all the things that you did in the world, you thought of doing it. So being returned, so when you come back, Seek him 10 times more. As much as you sought wickedness out, as much as you went out and went about in your town, city, what have you, looking for evil, that's how that's how much you should be uh, seeking the most high, 10 times more to the Sabbath service, to this camp, classes, mandatory classes, the Black Watch, the best radio, sh the best internet show on the planet. You, could, you should seek those 10 times more. For he that, for he that hath brought these plagues upon you, shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. 
take a good heart, O Jerusalem. Have a good mind. In these last days, don't take your own life. I don't care how bad it gets. Because you're going to be given a reward that you can't even imagine. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem. For he that gave you, gave thee that name will comfort thee. The Most High will comfort us. The same being that is bringing war on this earth will comfort Black Latinos and Natives. And that's it. It's a message to the so-called Black Latinos and Natives of Rochester and beyond. Relax. Be of good comfort because you will be saved. Do the right thing. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Any further questions, isubkrochestergmail.com. Make sure you go to www.isubk.com. We're having the Passover set Friday, April 15th. The Passover is Friday, April 15th. Feast of Unleavened Bread is Saturday, April 16th. Cocoa Beach, Florida. Go to isubk.com for more details. Make sure you make it down there. Smash the like button. Share. Subscribe. I'm out, folks. Shalom.